What's up, YouTube? You guys already know it's market closed, so you know I had to hop on here, man, and recap the day it was, man. And matter of fact, I know you guys was in your bag today because I know the plays I got you guys in, okay? So major salute off the rip for everybody that's doing their thing on today. Matter of fact, we're going to kick it off celebrating like I do each and every day because, again, I often say this, guys, you can't fake energy. You cannot fake energy. If y'all ever want to find out who the real and who, you can't fake energy, okay? When I tell you guys, it makes me proud every single day when I see the incremental improvements we're making as a family, okay? I know, guys, everybody is coming at all different places on the journey. We got beginners, you got your intermediate, you got some that's a little more savvy, but all in all, guys, I love the entire journey. Let me tell you guys one thing about success. Real successful people, not this fluffed up stuff on social media. I'm talking about those of us that before this YouTube stuff, go Google some real stuff on some real guys that's doing real things, myself being one. Real successful people love the process. We're not in it for a quick oop. We're not in it for a quick... 15 minutes of fame, we endure. We pour into other people. We walk alongside others, helping to lift others up. That's what I see in you guys each and every day. Every time you guys text me, every time you call me, every time you email me, every single one-on-one -on -one coaching call, every class I teach you guys options or whatever it is you wanna know about life, business, writing books, becoming speakers, Whatever it is that you guys have come to me for, I'm telling you, it's the process that will, again, separate the real from the fake, okay? Listen, guys, I love it. I see you. Major salute. If you know, you know. Major shout out to the money team, guys. You already know, man. AMD, NVIDIA, Apple. You guys know the plays we're in. Shout out to the Discord and everybody doing their thing in the Discord as well, guys. Make sure if you haven't already, you consider getting in there so you can hear from me each and every morning. Like once again, I'll talk to you guys about the spy. Somebody go look at the spy and let me know where we spot on with where that would go and what that would do on the day. And then, guys, with that being said, I'm just loving to see you guys navigate. Today, I want to talk to you guys about the fact that the market popped few stocks exploded risk was back on and that's what i'm gonna talk to you guys about today in our words of the day but listen though guys major salute man again you guys know we buy in a bear market we build during a bear market why because you're gonna have reminders that today was a reminder type of day. Today was a reminder that a play can shoot up 10%, a play can shoot up 12%, a play can shoot up 5%, 8%, okay? Because guys, it's so much doom and gloom, you forget these stocks gonna be ready to run as soon as they stop the manipulation, as soon as they stop the suppressing of stocks, as soon as they cut all that out, again, Plays will be ready to fly, and if you are doing the work, you stand to reap the benefits, okay? So but with that being said, I got a few that I want to highlight on today. I'm going to kick it off with DraftKings because this play did very, very well on today in terms of just the overall performance of it, okay? Don't mean that it won't get wiped away tomorrow, but I need to highlight stuff for you guys because when you do the work, you will reap the benefits. But let me talk to you guys more specifically about not only DraftKings, but NEO and a few other plays on today. Listen guys, in a bear market, I talked to you guys the other day about bear market bounces, okay? Relief rallies, things of that nature. In a bear market, those rallies are meant to help you get back to a place where you can kind of sell and get out, okay? It's not, a going, it's not going to be a continuation like oh, they about to go to the moon and they about to double and triple up. In a bear market, that's not what the pump, that's not what the pop is for, okay? In a bear market, it's like, so say this, guys, say you bought something at 16, it fell to 10, and now it runs back to 16. That's your chance to get out. You saw the lead of land, they showed you their hand, so now you can come back to the table and say, you know what? 
if I'm going to mess with this stock this year in a bear market, let me get it at 10 or below. Or let me do what Chris always preaches about dollar cost averaging. Okay, that's how you want to look at these pops. They're meant to help you kind of get out of your position. We call it selling the rips. They are called sell the rips. Okay, so that's why they won't be sustained. That's why we call them pump fakes sometimes as well, because they're not going to keep going up. They might have one or two days. They might even string together 30 days to make it go up. Okay, but all in all, it's not going to be like what it would be in a bull market. If it was a bull market, I'll confidently say this stock is about to double. I'm talking about, I won't even mince words because I can call it to a T. And all that you guys know, if you've been around here, all the home runs, I told you whether it was buying Neo at seven when we bought Neo at 14, from when we bought Neo at 15. All the home runs we hit, all the many, many of times we doubled our money in Neo, all the times we doubled our money in Charge Point, and the list goes on and on and on, okay? But in a bear market, they don't allow that to happen. They knock the stocks down 70, 80, 90%. And so when they make a run, they may they may recoup 25% of that. You get where I'm going with this, guys? They might recoup 40% of that, but they're not doubling in a sense. Now, some of them can double from a level, like if you wasn't in a play, take AMC, for instance. Okay, AMC, for some people, they might have got in for the first time when it was at $10 or $12. So AMC or something like that can double because you're going from uh, my first buy was at 12, I'm selling at 24. You will have instances like that in the bear market where you'll have those 100% type of rallies and gains and things like that. So it can happen, but if you already at a loss, if you bought AMC at $35, and it's sitting at 10, you're down, okay? You're down $25. So even when it go back to 24, you're not down as much, but you're still down $11. You get what I'm saying? And so again, you're not even reaping the benefits of that kind of play. This is why we sell the rips. This is why you get out, you rinse and repeat, then you get back in at a lower level and ride it back up. Okay, this is how you keep your money clean. This is why we preach about stop losses and things of that nature. But listen, guys, all in all, man, we had a slew of plays that that show what they can do when the market allows stocks to just run without interference. Okay, the market did try to take a dip when Fed Powell spoke, but typically after it dips, it likes to recover back to the place it was at prior to him speaking. Okay, so that's exactly what the market did. That's exactly what stocks did. Still in alignment with everything that happens whenever the Fed speaks. The market crash, but then typically it likes to bounce back at times, okay? Listen, guys, on today, we got our word of the day, and our word of the day is risk on. Listen, guys, risk on simply means money on the sideline, Wall Street, hedge funds, billionaires, the big dogs of the game, okay? What they like to do, they'll have periods, they'll have moments where they will be risk on. Risk on means putting their money into more high risk plays. Go look at look some of the plays that ran today, like an AMC, for instance, or just any other play, Lucid, Neo, Chargepoint, Palantir, that's called risk on. So we call them high risk plays or high risk growth plays. So they, they can, that's how you double your money. That's why we hit all the home runs when it's a good thing, but you gotta take the good with the bad. They also are the ones that get smacked if you don't have a stop loss on. <laughs> They're the first to get smacked and come back down the hardest. So they high growth, but then they come down the hardest when when the when the trend reverses okay but today was the day risk was back on today was the day they were okay throwing and piling money back into those and then you saw what those plays were able to do okay when you have a risk on market you will see small cap stocks rally when you have a risk on market you will see small cap stocks lead the way not that the apples and the nvidias and the amds can't keep up but you'll see those other ones run even more, okay? Everything will take part in it, but the risk was on. They were okay with this point in time, with whatever we're, the sentiment in the market is at. 
And so as a result, they was able to do their thing. But listen, guys, add that to your Rolodex, okay? We're going to keep teaching. We're going to keep learning. I'm going to keep introducing the lingo you need to know so that you know what's going on in this game, okay? We're here to learn and we're here to earn. Get in the Discord, join the money team, aka the weekly options, so that you guys are making money and navigating the bear market. You can still, for some of you, hit 100K in our 100K challenge through options. You might even do it. You might even hit 25K, 50K. It's possible. We're doing it and showing the proof every single day. Make sure you guys tap in, okay? Listen, guys, remember when they sleep, we eat. When they panic, we pounce. We make videos like this every day. So if you like this one, make sure you check out the next one. Remember, most people see the end result. Very few consider the journey. Do me a favor. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys grab some free stock using my link below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.